Hey everyone, you have reached the halfway point of NaNoWriMo. I just wanted to take a moment to pop in to encourage you to celebrate your incredible journey so far. I really hope that you take some time today to celebrate yourself, to do something nice for yourself. Nacho thinks so too. Yes, we renamed him Nacho because you deserve it. So let's talk about where you are in your story first. Some of you might be cruising smoothly through your plot, while some of you might feel like you're diving into the murky depths of the unknown. Whether you are a meticulous planner, detailed planner, or a daring pantser, the middle of a novel can be a tricky spot. There is no doubt about that. This is when you really need to focus on those turning points and the character arcs we talked about on days 9 and 13. It is natural for doubts to creep in right about now. Your initial excitement for NaNoWriMo might be fading and you might be wailing to yourself wondering, why did I choose to do this? I've been there, believe me. The end might seem really far away, but guess what? You are not alone. Every writer at some point faces the infamous midway slump. It's like the middle of a roller coaster ride, long and flat and unexciting and full of anticipation. It's the build up to the overall thrill. Of course, I don't really like roller coasters anymore. At 57, I am way too a cognizant of my mortality. So for me, the better analogy is that the long prep for Thanksgiving dinner, which is full of anticipation, leads to the big payoff of the delicious meal surrounded by friends and family. So however you want to look at it, this midpoint is just another part of the process. Right now, you need to remember why you started this journey. What was it about NaNoWriMo that drew you in? What inspired you to pick up that pen or tap away at your computer's keyboard? That initial spark is still within you. Find it again. Your story is there. It's worth telling. And your characters are waiting for their destinies to unfold at your hand. So if you're feeling stuck, take a breath. Reflect on what you have accomplished so far and go back to my earlier quick tips to see if you get any ideas, if they spark any ideas on how to proceed and celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Maybe it's your character surprising you with their wit or their resilience or a new character that pops in unexpectedly. Maybe you crafted a scene that gave you chills. Hold on to these moments because they are the fuel that propels you forward. If your plot has taken an unexpected turn, that is fantastic. Writing, you guys, is an adventure, and sometimes the best scenes and plot developments I've had in my writing have come from those unexpected aha moments, discoveries, and magic often happens when you let your story just breathe when you find yourself down a rabbit hole and, and some amazing fact takes you some new direction. So trust your instincts, trust your characters, and let your narrative flow. And for those of you who have been hitting your word count goals with ease, keep that momentum going. Your dedication is inspiring and your story is, I'm sure, shaping up beautifully. Remember, every word you write brings you one step closer to your goal. So embrace the messiness of the creative process and know that your story matters. So writers, as you tackle the second half of NaNoWriMo, be kind to yourself. Stay inspired. Keep writing with all that passion that got you here, that made you take this challenge. The finish line may be a little bit a ways on the horizon, but treasure the journey because that is the best part of this whole thing. I will be back tomorrow with another quick tip for the second half of NaNoWriMo. You've got this. Happy writing.